Hello friends, and welcome back to Alien Protocols, the Advanced Protocols Data Project. So, let's talk a little bit about anti-gravity and metamaterials. I'm sure you, most of you know that Dr. Hal Putoff has been doing some investigating of these materials, and the U.S. government and other groups are in possession of different amounts of this material. There is a specifically famous piece that uh, Dr. Putoff spoke about uh, two nights ago at a remote viewing conference. And uh, basically, Dr. Putoff has been to several of these experiment uh, locations. And uh, what happens is there's a table that's set up like this. And there is a laser that's fired um, across the material, over and through the material, through a bunch of uh, different mirrors and into a bunch of different sensors to get a baseline and a, um, an experimental uh, result. And um, they basically proved that when resonated at, uh, resonated at 10 to the 14 hertz, um, it uh, does create an anti-gravitic effect, meaning it nullifies the field around it, um, which is not propulsion, it's gravity nullification. It's very different. Um, but what it's doing essentially is grabbing at the material that is um, space-time and uh, able to affect it through this resonance. But uh, this material does more than they're going to discuss in these interviews and that Hal Putoff can discuss and that they know about. Because an advanced civilization can be judged by how much different abilities they can put into the smallest area possible at the least energy uh, cost waste ratio and this material does more than just uh, one or two things it does several things as we've discussed in previous videos um, it has the ability to be invisible through bending light around it which a lot of people misinterpret as transdimensional technology when certainly transdimensionality is not needed when you can just be invisible uh, power is also integrated into this to what extent he's going to talk about the um, uh, radioactive elements that are found blended into this material. Uh, this material is not laid down in layers like this. This is just for conceptual purposes. It's all designed from uh, the inception of the abilities they want it to have, and then they intermingle the materials based on a subtraction and addition of materials and their interactions and the abilities needed and required, and they construct it right from the actual atomic level. Uh, so, and we've talked about how they do that in previous videos. But um, basically when they uh, resonate this uniform lattice that is part of the anti-gravitational layer, um, this has also been validated by Dr. Frank Zendarsik um, with palladium, um, palladium microstructures um, that do the same exact thing. What happens, to make a long story short, is um, the speed of light slows down for photons entering these uh, atoms when they're resonated in, in a certain way. You create these uh, thermal vibrations and it does some pretty freaking interesting stuff. That's the famous piece, or the supposed famous piece. But uh, how it uh, actually works is pretty damn interesting on several layers. Uh, I'm not a physicist, but uh, there's some really interesting aspects of it. Um, this uh, latticed material is resonated and then the surface takes on this anti-gravitic property and there's bismuth and all sorts of different stuff and a catalyst liquid that uh, is also there. Sometimes you hear about these ships bleeding. Uh, but there, it's not the propulsion system. The propulsion system is a different uh, field propulsion system that's utilized. Um, <clears throat> so it's differently, uh, it's different than you think. Um, the craft um, also has its computational abilities, meaning like a car and a plane, they all have computational abilities, little computers on them now. But these kind of craft obviously would have computational abilities of a much higher order. And uh, because of that, you could expect that it would be built into the, the skin as well. And the skin is different at different locations on it because at times they need sensors, at other times they need to be able to move electromagnetic focal points to shoot different types of rays for different types of purposes. So um, that's it, gang. I just thought you might find this a little bit interesting. Much love.